Good morning. First cup of the morning. First cup of the morning. Good, good. Saturday morning, uh, January 13th. Um, slept good. It started raining in about the middle of the night. According to the weather radar, there's a great big blob over the whole um, part of the state here in the ocean. So it could be a wet day. I know it's going to be a wet um, teardown or packing up. Um, I really don't have that much to do. I'm uh, going to run the corner jacks up and I use my uh, electric drill and it winds those up quick. And uh, I need to remove the um, and coil up the power cord the CATV coax and the water hose and put those away, um, lift up the tongue jack um, and uh, take the garbage out. <laughs> so that's about all I really need to do outside. So it should go pretty quick. Today's drive to Lodi um, is about five hours. I split this up years ago. I used to go from Gold Beach to Lodi, California, south of Sacramento. And I would hit the Sacramento rush traffic, and it was a mess, and especially pulling the trailer. I don't need to battle that rush. So my wife says, you're retired, take an extra day. So uh, spend the night in Benbow, and I'll, I'm going to probably leave here about 9, 9, 9.30, so it'll get me there uh, mid-afternoon. So, And I don't know, but I doubt that I'll work any pot is today. I think it's going to be pretty wet and miserable to try and deal with that stuff. So anyway, um, getting up, getting ready, had my shower, and as you can see, I got my coffee, and get my breakfast, get cleaned up, and be underway. Well, it's uh, four o'clock. I'm in uh, Flag City RV in Lodi. Um, rain for about half the trip, sprinkles, and no rain for the second half. It's supposed to rain in the middle of the night, so I decided to put the pop out out. It should not be raining in the morning, and uh, maybe it'll mostly drain off at night. And I decided to put the antenna up, so maybe do a little FT8 tonight. You can see the pop out out it really makes a big difference inside it's you know two and a half three feet a lot more room in the middle of the trailer so apparently this whole section the whole three rows are for overnight people so <laughs> i've stayed here uh, i think on every quartz fest trip always on this end row the e row and i found out today it's because that's where the overnighters stay so Time to go inside, get the heat going, and get the trailer set up to be comfortable. Well, it's about 6.30 p.m. I've got everything set up in the trailer for the night. I've got my little electric heater going, so it's warm in here. It's about 74. And uh, I got my laptop connected to my IC7100. I thought I would fire up and do some FT8. It was like doing a brand new configuration. The last time I used all of this, uh, when I was in Oshkosh, and oops, somebody else is calling me here. CE2EP in Chile, in Chile. It'd be my second contact. So anyway, I had to get everything reconfigured, get the W9W Warbird special event call sign in Grid Square out of the software, um, get the serial port working. I wasn't able to get see anything on the waterfall. And then I remembered with Windows 11, you got to make sure your audio um, input has audio enhancements turned off. And I got them. CE3EP. Hit the log button here. So my first FT8 contact about 10 minutes ago was D2UI in Angola in Africa. Now... <laughs> I think that's pretty darn good for a 100 watt radio with a 25 foot wire on the back of the trailer here connected to the ICOM AH4 tuner. The combination works great. Uh, if I change band, as soon as I transmit, bang, it puts it into the tune mode, reduces the power, click, 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 and done, puts it back. So 
Anyway, I got poor internet here, so this is going to be a uh, short video, so I can hopefully get it uploaded. And uh, tomorrow I will head towards Banning, California, KOA, and for another day and night on the road. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe, please, and hit the like and share it. 73 from Randy, K7AGE.